Hi, I'm Robin from Sasaru Consulting. So this goes out to all you clinical audit facilitators and managers out there. I just thought with Audit Awareness Week, I'd just share a couple of tips that I think might help you to um, move towards significant sustained improvement as a result of clinical audit. So here's tip number one. Start with change. Do a cycle zero. So what do we mean by cycle zero? Well, let's imagine you're facilitating uh, an audit project and you, you know, you're talking to your audit lead or, or your, you know, your frontline team and you've got them to the stage where, you know, they know what their aim is, they know what uh, their criteria are, they know what their expected levels of performance are, their standards. Um, they've, they've got an idea and they've just sorted out what their uh, audit data collection tool is going to look like and they're just about ready to start piloting that data collection tool. So before that point, have the conversation with that team or with that lead and ask them the question, in relation to the standard, where do you think we are? What's our level of performance? Take your best guess. An educated guess, but take your best guess. And whatever they say, then ask them the question, well, okay, what do you think it's going to take us to get from where we are now to where we want to be, what the standard should be? And spend 10, 15 minutes just brainstorming a few actions out with them as to what they think they can do. And then out of those, pick one that's easy, simple, quick, something you can do by next Tuesday, and do it before you start your pilot. Do it straight away. And that's the tip, cycle zero. So why do that? Isn't that dangerous to do? Isn't that flying in the face of audit methodology? Well, actually, if you think about it, it's kind of part of audit method, isn't it? HQIP guidance and principles for best practice tell us that audit topics, amongst other things, need to be amenable to change. Now, the way I read that is that if there's no way you can make a change in that service area or that particular aspect of the service, then there's very little point in running an audit. It's a waste of time. You could say it's unethical to waste resources uh, in the NHS at the moment. We simply don't have any spare resources to waste. So if audits need to be amenable to change, by extension, shouldn't teams who are doing audits need to be capable of making changes? If a team that wants to do an audit isn't capable of making a change, no matter how small, then really we need to address that first before we let them go and do the audit. Cycle zero is an extension of your audit pilot. You think of it this way, you, you pilot your audit tool, don't you? You want to make sure your data collection tool is going to work, it's going to do the job that you want it to do. So why not pilot the whole cycle? Make sure that the team that's doing the audit is able to make changes to make improvements. Think of it this way, there's lots of benefits that you'll get by getting the team to do some simple easy changes first. For one, for one you'll boost the team's confidence. Um, you'll also help you to establish if there are any particular barriers to change that need to be addressed later on when you come to do your change after cycle one. Also, you'll change the focus of your audit from simply measuring to find out if we need to make a change to measuring for improvement, making changes for improvement. Now, some might say, well, shouldn't you wait till the baseline data is here before you make changes? Well, there's lots of times when we don't wait for baseline data. For example, if there's an incident or if there's a complaint um, particularly if it's not a significant incident or a serious incident, a uh, service manager may decide to make simple, quick and easy changes to the service in order to improve the situation just based on that incident data without having to do massive baselines or audits. The same with complaints. Also, if you think about the way the NHS change day has helped us recently, that's been a massive positive effect in helping teams to make small 
incremental changes that have improved quality, all without the need for massive baselines. So get your team to do a cycle zero, to do a thought experiment, to make a small change, and then carry on with the rest of the audit. You'll increase their enthusiasm. You'll, you'll get the lay of the land when it comes to making changes later on down the line. And if in the unlikely event that something does go wrong, you're doing the audit, you can pick up any issues later on. But that shouldn't happen if it's a simple, easy change. So hopefully that tip makes sense. I hope you find it of use. If you like, then like, leave a comment, subscribe, and uh, keep facilitating, keep going. I'm not serious.